What the deuce? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things to happen to Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. For this list, we're looking at the most terrible, awful things ever to happen to this seminal character, often at the hands of his friends and family. Number 10. Getting Sunburned Anyone who's been sunburned before knows just how painful it can be, but it probably wasn't worse than what happened to Stewie. Hey Stewie, nice sunburn. God, you horse's ass! When Stewie forgets to put on sunscreen, he experiences getting a tan for the first time, and immediately becomes obsessed with it. <gasps> wow, look at me! I'm a young Eartha Kitt! President Johnson, bring our boys home from Southeast Asia. It's an unwinnable war. Rrr. He becomes so addicted that he starts tanning every day in his very own tanning bed. But when he accidentally falls asleep during one of his sessions, he wakes up terribly sunburned. Uh, hey buddy, I was just coming to tell you it's time to get out. I've been in there for six and a half hours, you son of a bitch! Don't touch me! His entire body is red, and he can barely move. You can practically feel his skin sizzling. It's so bad, he even has a skin cancer scare. Write down my final thoughts. Oh, come on! I don't have much time! <sighs> oh, squiggly line in my eye fluid. Number 9. Getting a concussion playing football. Stewie gets upset when a woman at the grocery store mistakes him for a girl. Excuse me, ma'am, your little girl dropped her teddy bear. What? Little girl? <laughs> yeah, she hates it when she drops that. So naturally, he begins overcompensating and decides to join a football team. What's up, dudes? Stewie, what the hell is all this? Uh, only the most manly thing ever. A little something called American football. Is that a Michael Sam jersey? Yep, two boy names. Doubly masculine. Stewie is noticeably smaller than the other kids, but insists on being put in the game, despite the coach's warnings that he will get destroyed out there. Brian's cheering and jeering from the sidelines probably doesn't help things much. Come on, Stewie, give your dog something to post on Facebook. Something to post on Facebook, let's go. During his first play in the game, Stewie gets terribly concussed, and Brian and Chris try to cover it up. All right, and nobody's blocking. <laughs> oh my God, Stewie! Are you okay? Back off, he may have a concussion. A concussion? You do me an honor, Lieutenant, but my dance card is full. You'd think they'd have known better after the last time the Griffins tried to cover up one of Stewie's injuries, but more on that later. Number 8. Losing an Ear Getting extremely sunburned or concussed may seem pretty bad, and Stewie pretty much brought those incidents on himself. But this one is all Brian's fault. Brian gets out of hand running a club and drunkenly loses Stewie on the road. Brian, there you are. Do you have any idea what time it is? Stewie was supposed to be in bed two hours ago. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he's, um, he's, he was right here, right next to me like four hours ago. Stewie does manage to make it home on his own, but not without losing an ear to a hungry deer. Hey, Brian, remember me? I'm the guy you left standing at the counter at McDonald's with a bag full of burgers. You know, it's funny, I tried to walk home and, um... A lot of hungry deer walking around at this hour of the night. And, um, oh, here's where the story gets fun. Uh, you may have noticed I'm missing an ear. Losing an appendage is bad enough, but nothing adds insult to injury like knowing it happened as a result of your best friend's negligence. And what's even worse than that is that the family doesn't seem to care about Stewie's missing ear, or even notice for that matter. Yeah, uh, don't worry, I don't need to go to the hospital or anything. I'll just use this Mr. Potato Head piece. Number seven, contracting a disease. Brian dropped the ball with the whole Stewie's ear thing, but this time he knew what he was doing. Feeling that they're drifting apart, Stewie wants to deepen his bond with Brian. I think we should hold hands more often. There you go, we're blood brothers now. You happy? So they cut their hands and swap blood. However, things go horribly wrong when Stewie wakes up the next morning to discover that Brian has given him herpes. Ah! You son of a bitch, you gave me herpes! What? What are you talking about? Naturally, Stewie is furious. It's a wonder Stewie didn't resort to his old murderous ways when he discovered that Brian knew he had herpes before they swapped blood. Oh, hey, Brian. And who's your date? Wow, you must be such a good person to knowingly go out with a herpes-riddled dirtbag. Ew! I'm sorry, Brian. I I've got to go. Number six, getting killed after Brian sells him out. 
Speaking of Brian inflicting intentional harm on Stewie, this time he gets Stewie killed. When Stewie teleports them to Vegas, he ends up duplicating them, leaving one pair of them nothing but good luck and the other nothing but bad luck. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything's just so beautiful here. Ugh, this is miserable. Three hour delay and a completely full flight. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. The bad luck versions burn all their cash, so they borrow money from a loan shark and can't pay it back. The loan shark mistakenly goes after the good versions, and when they can't pay him either, he offers them a choice as to who will die first, and Brian wastes no time whatsoever selling Stewie out. He tells the loan shark to shoot Stewie first, and he obliges. All right, enough of this! You, dog, pick which one of you two is gonna die! What? You can't ask me to decide something like that. I mean, the life of every being is sacred. Just like the life Fine, of- Fine, I'll kill you! No, no, kill him! He's a baby! He, he won't even remember he was alive! Thankfully, there was another Stewie available, so no harm, no foul, right? Hey, hey. Number five, being mistreated at daycare. That's right, it's Brian yet again. While picking up Stewie from his daycare center, Brian sees just how terrible it is. The children are left alone, the place is filthy, and there are dangerous objects everywhere. What did I tell you, Brian? It's a nightmare in here. Oh my god! Brian is appalled and demands to speak to the daycare teacher, like any good guardian would. But when he meets Miss Emily, Brian completely changes his tune when he sees how attractive she is. Excuse me, are you Miss Emily? Yeah, hi, who are you? Uh, Brian? Brian Steele? I was just dropping Stewie off. Oh yeah! I should probably go back in there, see how everyone's doing, I guess. Ah, they're fine. Brian not only ignores the abuse, he also contributes to it just so he can get with Miss Emily. Stewie's seen Brian do some pretty terrible things in pursuit of a lady, but this example is definitely up there as one of the worst. Oh, hi, Brian! I thought you had a busy day at your legal practice. Oh. Hey, Emily. Yeah, I, I had some time between cases. I thought I'd see how you were doing. That's so nice of you. Let me just put these bags away and throw some saltines in the yard for the kids. Number four, getting no love as Brian's manager. Okay, what is this dude's deal? Does he even like Stewie? When Brian finally, finally writes that bestseller he's been bragging about for years, Stewie becomes his manager. Yeah, we're walking in now. Make sure Tom Tucker knows he has 20 minutes and he is to only talk about the book. No personal questions. All right, are you okay? You good? You, you need anything? All right. All right, we're inside and there is nobody here to greet us. Stewie does everything for Brian, yet is met with nothing but ingratitude. The more fame Brian gets, the worse and worse he treats Stewie. He even leaves Stewie alone on the street once to get back to their hotel by himself. All because he thinks he should be just as famous as Renee Zellweger. Get over here. Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Can you figure out what the problem is? I, I don't... I, I honestly have no... Oh, God. How do you think I feel walking out of the back room of a restaurant and seeing Renee Zellweger eating in the front room? Stewie has to endure Brian's verbal abuse and even being ruthlessly fired. Poor Stewie. I am so sorry. I am done with you. Do you hear me? Done. Get out of here now. Brian, please. You're fired. Number three, being breastfed by Peter. Though the women in Peter's life might be glad he finally attended some sensitivity training, Stewie would argue that it did much more harm than good. Now that you've felt a woman's pain, the learning can begin. The training ignites some extreme motherly feelings in Peter, and he goes a little crazy trying to, um, nurture everyone. He even goes so far as to try to breastfeed Stewie. Of course, it doesn't work, and Stewie is traumatized by the experience. The look on Stewie's face when he realizes what is happening really says it all. And when he pulls that hair out of his mouth, yeah. Number two, being driven to madness by an album cover. Oh my God, I haven't seen this one in forever. Look, look at this queen news of the world. Check it out. Ah! Whoa, what's the matter? What the hell is that? A killer robot monster? Stewie is so intelligent. Sometimes it's easy to forget that after all these years, he's still just a baby. While looking through Peter's old album collection, Stewie comes across the queen album news of the world, which absolutely terrifies him. Does it eat little boys? I don't know, maybe, if it's hungry. Ah! 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 
In Stewie's defense, a giant killer robot is pretty scary. Stewie is so terrified by the Queen album cover that he is driven literally insane. It probably isn't helpful that Brian finds the whole thing absolutely hysterical and constantly taunts him with the image. Oh, good morning, Rupert. Please tell me you set the timer on the coffee maker because I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! Brian's torture is so relentless, it drives Stewie to kill Rupert and attempt to kill himself just to escape it. Rupert, we won't give that evil robot the satisfaction of killing us. We'll go together, on our own terms. See you on the other side. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. Being kept in pants. You like this? Stop it. Peter, you're embarrassing me. Look, I know you're upset, but you... Oh, my God. Where's Stewie? He's around. Ugh! Let me out of this stink-filled corduroy dungeon! It's no fun. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! Yeah, it's piss. Getting fused with Rupert. And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, damn! I'm a monster! Taking a shard of glass to the forehead. I think I'm okay. Ah! Ah! Uh-oh! 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 Oh, God! Somebody! Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Falling Down the Stairs While Meg and Chris are fighting, they end up knocking Stewie down the stairs, rendering him unconscious and giving him a huge gash in his head. Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. Do you think he's okay? Though that first part is an accident, the rest is not. It's understandable at first that Chris and Meg panic, but at some point you'd think that they'd get their baby brother some real help. But they decide the best course of action is to cover up his injury. Literally. They put a hat on him and hope nobody notices. Oh, look at my little cowboy. Come on, Stewie, up in your high chair. Boy, he must be starving. <laughs> Eventually, Peter finds out, and his response is to throw Stewie under Lois's car to blame the whole thing on her. Well, at least Stewie was unconscious for the whole thing. Cartoon logic, am I right? Hey, I just found out it's November. What the f happened? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.